It has been said that those who fail to plan, plan to fail. As such, to beat the odds, coming up with a logical strategy can be imperative to succeed. That Dinobot spasted you because you had no strategy. But I have. In the world of the Transformers, the Decepticons have relied on the brilliant schemes of Shockwave, Onslaught, and Armada Thrust. However, since the Autobots themselves were not originally warriors, but we're not fighters like they are, Prime. Optimus Prime calls upon the logically driven strategies of the Autobot police car, Prowl. Okay, let's straighten out this mess. I'd like to thank my patrons and my channel members for your continued support. Consider becoming one or purchase some merch on my Spring Store today. Originally released in Takara's Diaclone toy line, the Fair Lady Z figure was based on the Datsun 280ZX. The figure came in two color variants for the civilian model, in addition to a police highway version and one based on the real-life racing car driven by Don Devendorf. All three were imported by Hasbro to be a part of the Transformers toy line, and the first two were among the initial lineup in 1984. Choosing to make all of the good guys, the Autobots, be the cars and trucks, the face of this trio of robots were used as the basis for the design for the Autobot symbol. Hasbro then approached Marvel to produce a backstory for the Transformers with character profiles, a comic book, and an animated series. Marvel's then editor-in-chief, Jim Shooter, initially gave this task to Denny O'Neill before writing his own eight-page story treatment in which the Autobot police car was given the name of Prowl. Shooter then reassigned the writing duties to Bob Budiansky, who refined Prowl's profile in addition to naming the rest of the characters. As such, Prowl is the Autobot's military strategist who will keep at a task as long as it takes as he strives to find reason and logic in everything. Able to analyze and advise his fellow Autobots on complex combat situations with sophisticated logic, Prowl is more of a listener than a talker as he fires on Decepticons with his wire-guided incinerary missiles and corrosive acid pellet rifle. First introduced in the Marvel comics, Prowl was one of the many Autobots aboard the Ark when it crash-landed on Earth four million years ago. Reawakening in the then-present day of 1984, Prowl marveled at the alternate forms the Ark had chosen for the Transformers, and he found Blue Streak's constant chatter taxing even with his endless patience. Since he was logic-driven, Prowl took the role as field commander for the Autobots, leading a team on a reconnaissance mission to learn about the inhabitants of Earth. Unfortunately, a Decepticon attack quickly put humans in danger. Prowl soon discovered that the cars of Earth were not sentient, and he made a tactical decision for the Autobots to return back to the Ark to report to Optimus Prime. Taking a logical approach to the Autobots' situation on Earth, Prowl fought bravely against the Decepticons. After Shockwave took control of the Decepticons and captured Optimus Prime's head, Prowl assumed temporary leadership of the Autobots. His strategic plans included further repairs being made to the Ark, friendship with GB Blackrock, and leading a rescue mission for their commander, Optimus Prime. Unfortunately, a fake head of Prime created by Shockwave and an assault by the Decepticons left Prowl damaged where he remained on Ratchet's repair table. Despite his injuries, Prowl was more prominently seen in the stories told exclusively in the UK comics. His early adventures included defending the Ark from the Decepticons and leading a team to stop the floodwaters of a damaged Sherman Dam. At first failing to see the logic in celebrating Christmas, Prowl believed that the Autobots should take a stronger initiative by suggesting that they build a squad of ultimate Autobots. However, Optimus Prime quickly turned down this idea as it went against the Autobot cause. Ratchet eventually reactivated Prowl in time to use his police car alt mode to scare off the human villain, the Mechanic, from stealing further tools from the Ark. However, Prowl's reactivation merely placed him into the background, and he was one of the many Transformers killed by an underbase-powered Starscream. In the G1 cartoon, Prowl was one of Optimus Prime's top lieutenants alongside Jazz and Ironhide, voiced by Michael Bell. Prowl was a straightforward strategist who would patiently listen to others before coming up with a plan. I've got the plan. If all of you have got the cast iron manifolds for it, we have 
transform and rule out. With his acid pellet gun, Prowl often led teams of Autobots into battle. This armament, acid pellet style. And his police car alt mode helped escort Spike to the hospital. I'll provide an escort to get him there faster. While in pursuit of the Decepticons to a hangar alongside Blue Streak in the episode Roll For It, Prowl's battle computer was damaged. Connecting to a nearby modem, Prowl was remote controlled by Chip Chase to successfully force the Decepticons to retreat. Chip, for a human being, you make one heck of an Autobot. During the rest of the first two seasons, Prowl's sound logic and security measures consistently ensure the Autobots succeeded in protecting the Earth. Prowl's final G1 cartoon appearance was in Transformers the Movie, as part of a crew sent to Earth by Optimus Prime. Unfortunately, while out in space, the shuttle was commandeered by the Decepticons, and Prowl met his end by a well-placed blast from Scavenger. As seen in the episode Dark Awakening, Prowl's body was laid to rest in a mausoleum in outer space. Unfortunately, a Quintesson-controlled zombie Optimus Prime sent the mausoleum with all of the fallen Autobots into a nearby star. However, in the Japanese continuity, Prowl was somehow present in the Headmaster's anime, fighting alongside Ultra Magnus. This was caused because the movie was not released in Japan until 1989 and would not be resolved until years later. In 1990, Prowl received a new figure as a non-transforming Action Master that came packaged with a transforming Turbo Cycle. This prompted Prowl to return to the pages of both the UK and the Marvel comics, as he was revived by Grimlock using the power of Nucleon to face off against the threat of Unicron. Once again taking the role of second-in-command of the Autobots, Prowl's logic centers were heavily tested by Grimlock's leadership. Despite their differences, Prowl and Grimlock valiantly led the Autobots to save the inhabitants of the planet Klo from the Decepticons as Optimus Prime returned to lead them once more. Although he didn't receive a new figure during Generation 2, Prowl served a minor role in the G2 comics, still arguing with Grimlock about command decisions from a logical standpoint and saving Optimus Prime from the hands of Megatron. In 1997, a new figure of Prowl was released in the Beast Wars toy line. Transforming into a lion, Prowl came packaged with his fellow Maximals, Ironhide and Silverbolt, as they combined to form Magnaboss. However, this trio was released in Japan as a different set of characters, with the lion being named Lyo Jr. In that same year, the KB-exclusive Machine Wars toy line needed to fill out its ranks and redecoed Mirage into Prowl. In 1999, a second Beast Wars figure of Prowl was also released transforming into a Transmetal 2 Owl. This figure's bio stated that this Prowl believed himself to have been a great military strategist in a former life, suggesting that, in addition to having a similar personality and abilities, he was in fact the original G1 Prowl. This, along with the complicated history caused by Prowl's appearance in Headmasters and the Vinyl Tech storyline, will be a discussion for another day. At the beginning of the 21st century, Hasbro re-established Prowl once again as a police car when they imported the Japanese anime Car Robots. Renaming the series Robots in Disguise in 2001, the Autobot Mach Alert, who transformed into a Lamborghini Diablo, was renamed Prowl for his similarity in appearance and personality. Voiced by Wayne C. Lewis, Prowl was the middle sibling of the Autobot brothers, who strictly adhered to rules and regulations, even to his own detriment. This especially created tension with his brother, Sideburn, getting on his case for speeding. Sideburn, according to my radar, you are exceeding the speed limit. Loosen up, bro, it's an emergency. That's no excuse to violate municipal traffic codes. Despite this, Prowl assisted his fellow Autobots against the threat of the Predacons and eventually the Decepticons. Upon Ultra Magnus' arrival, Prowl and his brothers were granted a supercharged upgrade that, in addition of a new color scheme, gave them the boost needed to save the day. In Transformers Energon, a new version of Prowl was introduced that transformed into a police-themed Formula One-styled race car, as seen in the anime and voiced by Alistar Abel. Maybe he's come back for some more. Do you want me to get rid of him, sir? It'll be my pleasure. Prowl was an inexperienced rookie who accompanied his commander Rodimus to bring peace to the galaxy. Like many of the Autobots of the series, Prowl could powerlink with his teammates, which included Rodimus, 
hotshot, and in one hilarious case, downshift. Oh, holy complete! Wait just a second here. Hey. How did I end up down here? It was during the release of these two versions of Prowl that the use of his name became associated with a few police-themed figures released around the same time, but they for the most part lacked any associated media to bear any significance. Prowl was even snubbed out of the live-action films because the filmmakers really liked the idea of a Decepticon as a police car instead of an Autobot, and he made a small cameo in the tie-in movie comics. This, of course, brought a desire among fans wishing to see Prowl face off against Barricade in a good cop, bad cop showdown. Despite this, Prowl returned to the spotlight once again in Transformers Animated. While his earliest designs were based on his G1 counterpart, his new alt mode of a motorcycle inspired a change to his colors to match the California Highway Patrol. Voiced by Jeff Glenn Bennett, Stillness and strife. Prowl initially refused to participate in the war between the Autobots and Decepticons until he was trained by Yokotron to become a ninja until his master's demise. Going out into deep space on an optics quest, Prowl met up with Optimus Prime, who welcomed him aboard the Ark before coming to Earth, quickly admiring the organic world and all of its beauty. All this organic life, this nature, it refuses to be contained. Such a force of will. Prowl used his ninja skills to protect it against the threats of human villains and the Decepticons. However, his patience was often tested by his teammates Bumblebee and Bulkhead. Chainsaws and pavement are much more effective. Now let me borrow your battery for a few hours. Prowl's desire to protect life compelled him to rescue the Dinobots from being melted down even leading to them having an occasional uneasy alliance. After facing down the bounty hunter, Lockdown, Prowl got an upgrade with super-powered samurai armor that could transform into a sidecar, of which an additional figure was soon produced of. However, upon realizing that it was Lockdown who had murdered Yokotron, Prowl soon discovered it's the ninja bot, not the weapon, as he learned the final ninja ability of Processor over Matter. With assistance from fellow Autobot ninja Jazz, Prowl used this ability to reconstitute the Allspark. Unfortunately, to complete this task, Prowl was forced to willingly sacrifice himself. Inspired by Prowl's Action Master Turbo Cycle, Takara released his deluxe animated figure, colored like his G1 counterpart, as an exclusive for the Tokyo Toy Show in 2010. In the aligned continuity, Prowl was featured in the Exodus novels, and a design for the character was slated to appear in the Fall of Cybertron video game. A second design, based off of Transformers Prime's Smokescreen, was also crafted for the cancelled Transformers Universe game, which served as the basis for the figures released of him. In addition to these new versions of Prowl, his G1 counterpart was certainly not forgotten about, and several figures were released of him as well. He also prominently appeared in comic books. In the Dreamwave comics, Prowl became Optimus Prime's military advisor at the beginning of the war against the Decepticons. On Earth, he maintained the role of field commander, working diligently to keep the peace of his fellow Autobots. After Cybertron was liberated from Shockwave's tyranny, Prowl soon realized that both Cybertron and Earth needed to be protected from the Decepticons. Leading a team back to Earth, Prowl oversaw the construction of Autobot City. Prowl was introduced in the IDW comics as a stern protocol-maintaining leader of an Autobot infiltration unit on Earth. This often placed him at odds with his teammates, especially when he ran the numbers, strategizing what would be the next best course of action. For a while, it seemed Prowl knew it was better to do the right thing, despite any risk to himself. But the war had grown weary on him. Taking an any-means-necessary approach, he soon developed into schemes that included the manipulation of his fellow Autobots, such as Cup and RC. While things didn't go his way, Prowl became a security enforcer on Cybertron after the war. But unbeknown to everyone, Megatron had been controlling him with one of Bombshell's Cerebro shells. 
While under Decepticon control, Prowl was refitted to merge with the Constructicons to take Scrapper's place into a new version of Devastator. Although he was eventually freed from Bombshell's control, Prowl's mind was forever frayed as he led the Constructicons to act with his own form of justice until he was eventually captured. Although inspired by the G1 episode Masquerade for having a team of Autobots act as a phony Menasaur, the Combiner Wars toy line in 2015 created the Combiner Optimus Maximus, which saw a new figure of Prowl merge with Optimus Prime, Mirage, Hot Rod, Sunstreaker, and Ironhide. While Starscream attempted to assert dominance as Cybertron's leader with an army of Combiners, which included Scoop as a replacement for Devastator, Prowl used the Enigma of Combination to force his fellow Autobots to merge into Optimus Maximus. As the battle ensued, Prowl eventually began to understand what must be done. Although taken into custody, Prowl soon escaped capture. Now a wanted fugitive, Prowl acted on his own to bring peace to the galaxy, facing Tarantulas alongside the Wreckers, rescuing the Throttlebots who believed they were left behind, and taking Shockwave into custody for his crimes. Ignoring the events of the UK and G2 comics, the Regeneration 1 comics saw Prowl assist Optimus Prime in freeing a decimated Earth from Megatron's tyranny. After returning to Cybertron, Prowl oversaw his fellow Autobots being refitted with Nucleon-free bodies, and fought bravely against the threat of an invading Decepticon assault. A new version of Prowl served a minor role in Transformers Cyberverse. Voiced by Dick Terhune, Prowl was a serious soldier that always followed protocol. That's right. And you better hope Optimus recovers. Which sometimes put him on edge, especially if anyone snuck up on him. While he didn't say much, Prowl loyally helped his fellow Autobots, which garnered him a slight rivalry with the Decepticon, Shadow Striker. Back off, Shadow Striker. You can't use these peace negotiations to scope out my ship. In the Autobot's quest to save Cybertron, Prowl charged valiantly into battle. Unfortunately, Prowl was killed by Shadow Striker when he jumped in front of a blast meant for Optimus Prime. As part of the War for Cybertron trilogy's Siege toy line in 2019, a new figure of Prowl was released as a Cybertronian police car. Appearing in IDW's rebooted continuity, Prowl was an unfriendly security officer alongside his partner, Barricade. As Prowl investigated a series of murders, Barricade betrayed his partner and joined the terrorist factions that eventually became the Decepticons. Putting together a team with his former friend, Nightbeat, and rookies Strong Arm and Bumper, Prowl continued to investigate both the Rise and the Ascenticons as they eventually joined the Autobots in their quest to restore peace back to Cybertron. Prowl also appeared in the War for Cybertron trilogy's animated series on Netflix. Voiced by Aaron Beach, Prowl attempted to give sound strategy to Optimus Prime in Alita 1. So what do we do with them? Keep them locked in that cell, you ask me. Although ashamed of his past as law enforcement in Praxis in the days before the war, it was a dark chapter in Praxis history. Prowl unwillingly agreed to place a core override explosive in Jetfire's head. It means we can remotely trigger brain detonation. In order for the Autobots to put any trust in the former Decepticon. However, when Prowl was nearly killed by the metallic vortexes in the Sea of Rust, Jetfire came to his rescue as the two learned to befriend each other. It doesn't feel right. Holding on to this thing. You saved me. But for the sake of the mission, you will. Prowl remained present throughout the rest of the series, assisting his fellow Autobots and the Maximals in bringing the Allspark back to Cybertron. Prowl received a new figure in the War for Cybertron trilogy's Earthrise toy line as a redeco of Earthrise Blue Streak. Released as an Amazon exclusive in a two pack with Ironhide in 2020, the set was highly sought after thanks to the popularity of the characters in addition to stock issues caused by the pandemic. Despite this, Ironhide received a new figure in the Studio Series 86 line in 2022. This of course had some fans wondering when Prowl would also be brought into the line for his appearance in Transformers the Movie. However, Prowl's next most famous incarnation from Transformers Animated received a new figure in 2023 to commemorate the history of the franchise in Transformers Legacy Evolution. With many Transformers universes colliding in this series, perhaps fans can imagine the G1 and animated versions of Prowl would team up to take down the bad cop Decepticon Barricade. Please keep it up. 
We make a terrific team. Prowl has been a mainstay in the Transformers franchise since its inception. Whether a cop or a ninja, driven by logic and reason with large amounts of patience, execute with graceful precision. Hopefully this means he will be featured for many years to come. Just because something is big and lumbering and destructive doesn't mean you give up on it. But what do you think? Does Prowl deserve more time in the spotlight? And what is your favorite version of the character? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you like this video, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. I have many more Transformers videos like this coming soon, so stay tuned. And as always, until next time, till all are one. Have a seat, boss. Thrones are for Decepticons. Besides, I'd rather roll.